Um, so you obviously have um, uh, a passion for uh, beauty pageants and you went through a season in your life where um, I guess you, you entered quite a few beauty pageants and were very successful. Um, what was your driver and your motivation for, for putting yourself out there? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't, uh, when I look back on my journey, I started in 2014 in pageants. So I've been a creative in terms of performance, like before that, I love singing, I love dancing, and I love speaking. Um, beauty pageants was something that I never thought in my head, I'm definitely going to do. You know, I want to do that. I see these beauty queens and I want to be like that. It was it was more an opportunity for me to understand my Samoan culture and also um, that was the first ever beauty pageant I entered was Miss Samoan New Zealand um, and my sister Sarah Jane had entered it many years yes. ago and so in the back of my mind I'd always thought my sister did that um, and that was a wonderful celebration and exchange of her culture um, and then an opportunity presented itself where it just grabbed my attention and, and you know, enrolments um, had gone out for competing in Miss Samoa New Zealand online and at the time I was in Dunedin so that all just seemed to work out and I thought, hmm, I've got an inkling that this might, this might lead to something. I didn't really have in my mindset that all of a sudden I would, you know, start on this incredible pageant journey, which and is what for pageants, yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, and because obviously, like, there are people who, you know, and there are young women who love makeup, who love design, who love dress. I'm going to be honest with you, like, I'm pretty down to earth with um, with um, dress sense and, and makeup prior to pageants. Um, I didn't really have an understanding of that. Um, and so for me, I was like, oh, this is an awesome opportunity. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can add to, I guess, um, the strengths and, and see what happens. And it was literally in seeing what would happen that just opened up this incredible door um, mm. for me to learn and about pageants, but also to learn about my Samoan culture and then also to then represent Samoa on the world stage. And mm. then also just to refine, I think, um, who I am as both a Samoan, but also someone who's of mixed heritage. So my mum being European and my dad being Samoan, me growing up in New Zealand and speaking English as well. Um, and I was the most unlikely candidate, I think, to have won Miss Samoa New Zealand, but then also win Miss Samoa and then go on to, to represent the Pacific as well. Um, I was a very unlikely unlikely candidate because I wasn't raised, in, raised, raised in, in, at home, I say at home. Um, but again, like once that door opened, um, the driver for, for me was really just representing my country well and getting to know who I am as a Samoan um, mm. more. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a really interesting topic and I want to hear more about that but first we've got to take a break. Yeah. <laughs>